friends and welcome back to Flavors on Madha Sakhwan. Today I will be sharing with you a recipe of Shahi Paneer. Shahi Paneer is essentially a Mughlai dish and it is made with nuts, onions, spices and yogurt or cream. I've used both of it in my recipe. It is super easy and super delicious. To make this I'm taking around 500 grams of paneer or quattad cheese. Any brand and store any store bought would do even homemade is fine i'm going to take quarter cup of oil in a wok any vegetable oil preferably uh, do not use mustard oil you can alternately use uh, butter or even ghee i'm going to roast my nuts a half cup of cashew nuts and quarter cup of melon seeds or char magas char magas is easily available in any indian grocery store and you have to roast your nuts until they start to turn golden make sure you don't burn them they should be um, they should be light golden and and crunchy keep that aside i'm going to grind it later with the gravy now to make this gravy i'm going to take half one teaspoon of cumin seeds one teaspoon of coriander seeds and i'm also going to add a garam masala with fear which is a few cloves and two cardamom a few cloves by as in i mean two or three not more than that cinnamon make sure that it's not really large cinnamon it's uh it's like around half an inch of cinnamon that i've used thin and long so half an inch is enough because sometimes garam masala can be very overpowering add onions and saute until they are translucent add your tomatoes to it which is two your garlic paste goes in it and makes it all the recipe uh, the written recipe is available on my website the link of which i will be uh, putting it in my description box so do check it out so salt turmeric red chili powder all goes in mix it well and at this point i'm going to cover and let this cook for two minutes and this is really uh, this is almost done and i'm going to add half a cup of yogurt to this to make a really beautiful texture it gives out that that kind of uh, the flavor that only yogurt can give you you know uh, like a soury and creamy feel of yogurt that adds wonders to the dish now while that is cooking i've covered and let that cook i'm going to uh, make the pre prepare the masala i'm going to add my nuts and i'm also going to take my gravy which has been cooking for five minutes earlier and i'm going to add this and i'm going to grind all of it together yes in the olden days they used to use mortar and pestle to do this so that was a really tedious task but thank god to technology that we can do it in seconds and minutes you know i mean just whiz it up and these dishes have become really simple and easy with modern technology and others now back to my wok i'm taking a little bit of oil i'm going to add butter to that and i'm going to add mixture the mixture that i ground the oil is only to prevent the butter from burning that's the only purpose of oil and the mixture mix it really well and saute it now at this point uh, I'm just going to add a little water to this so that this becomes uh, the proper consistency let this cook because I added water to it and I just want it to cook in butter now this is my paneer this is a store this is like I said store-bought paneer but you can use homemade paneer also homemade paneer is also really simple to make but I'm using store-bought today add in your paneer and mix it well and, and you're going to allow this to cook by you just cover it and leave it for around five minutes and at this point you can add cream half a cup of cream this is liquid cream you can also use thickened cream and if not if none of those are available then you can just use full fat milk quarter cup of it just add it and that's fine let it cook until um, the oil starts to separate and uh, this is, is you do not really need a lot of cooking because paneer by itself is really soft and it's cheese and you don't want to really uh, make it really hard by cooking overcooking it so be careful with it and then the final step of it is of course by garnishing it with kasuri methi kasuri methi the moment you add it you know that this is that paneer dish that you had it in a, in a restaurant because this 
it gives out that kind of flavor you know that earthy flavor to your dish is only because of this kasuri methi it's it's an absolutely delicious dish and it is something that your children will absolutely love of course you know after all the meat dishes that i did i had to have a vegetarian dish definitely definitely to go with i'll be posting more vegetarian dishes in the near future i hope uh, that you will try this recipe and i hope that you will enjoy this recipe as much as i did and my family did please let me know in the comment section how did you like this and how did you eat it we eat it usually with chapati or roti and or naan uh, how do you eat it please let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching have a great day do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel